good now? Are we... Raw Fury. Options. It might be just for partners we could those out. You just have to wait, I guess. <laughs> hey, you. Uh, hey. Oh, man. Oh, God. God, this is so comfy. I'm just gonna lie here and suffocate on my own vomit now. What? No. I, uh, I had a thing I wanted to tell you. Uh-huh. This room sure looks different when it's spinning. So I was browsing through the used book ads in the paper when I... Listen, Eileen, I'm totally excited about books right now, but... Wait, hear me out! So... I noticed this article about a war veteran from Conwell Springs who just died. I remembered that you used to live there and everything, and... Oh, how I wish for joyful, blissful sleep. A and get this! His name was Joseph. Joseph Rain. What? what did you just say? You knew him, right? I knew it! I knew you'd know him. Uh, okay. Anyway, so there starts the game. Awesome hair, by the way. Love the two, three color. Just awesome. <laughs> hey, Joppa. Hey, she looks marvelous. I like her. She looks like, um, what was her name? From, um, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. The red haired girl. Can't remember her name. She looks like that. Do I know it, my grandfather? I mean, this just started, so... Uh... Who is this guy? <laughs> Willow, yeah! Willow! Thank you, little dark son. I guess we... Just... Yeah, he is... Was my grandfather. Hey, wait a minute. I never told you where I grew up. Oh, well, I... Uh, well, I might have sort of looked you up. That is not cool, Eileen. Seriously. What? I just couldn't help myself. Well, one of these days you're gonna help yourself to a restraining order. I'm just telling you this as a friend. I know. Well, anyway, you should know that the funeral is tomorrow. Whoa, that's okay. quick. Are you gonna go? I don't know. Good night, Eileen. Come on, Eileen. <sighs> Good night, Kathy. <laughs> Good night. Why is my mouse in the middle of the screen? That's annoying. Oh, uh, God, make it stop. 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 Get out. No. Ah. Forever. Good Looks boy. like Eileen left a note for me here. Hi, Kat. Since it's such a long drive, I set the alarm so you won't miss the funeral. Thank me later, E. Thanks. I'm so getting a new roommate. <sighs> well, I guess I should get going. I'm late enough as it is. This is very pixely. I have to get used to this. <laughs> Welcome to the 80s. Okay. This is gonna be... Look, use. Messy. Just the way I like it. Yeah, she fell asleep with her clothes on. I just... Okay. She was, apparently she was very tired. Nah. I just got up. Okay. Oh, wait. Imperialist, did you just reach up, by the way? Was that you? Thank you, by the way. <laughs> I think it was you. Not sure. 
Just some random band poster. Thank you. Pulp Fiction. Love that flick. The Thing. One of my favorite horror movies. I need to watch that again. Ooh. Look. Think. Think. Help me get rid of my last two roommates. <laughs> thank you, Jump for the host. <laughs> oh, thank you, Imperialist. <laughs> My electric guitar. Got it cheap from a lesbian I met at a concert. Good times. <laughs> I'm a dinosaur! <laughs> Thank you, Ricardozo. Thank you for the host. Nah, it's no fun when there's no one around to annoy with it. Oh. Yeah. Mm, fine. Uh, is there anything else? Oh, I hope it's, there's no tiny, tiny things, because that would be getting really annoying really fast. There's a phone, a scanner, computer, what's this? Printer. I'm gonna click everything just so you guys know because I am so scared of missing something here right now Okay, so this is nothing. Look, look it's a mountain of pixels <laughs> uh, look. Our room phone it's got an external line cool. Use it. Oh Well, hello Might want to pick up the handle first. Fine. Dorm room? Not that I don't love the sound of my own voice, but... Oh. Okay, fine. I thought there was, like, an answering machine with this. I thought that buttons. Okay. Uh, I guess we're fine here. Da, da, da. Hey, Ralton. Uh, scanner? What's the scanner? It's some advanced scanner thingy. It can scan pictures, tapes, all sorts of stuff. Okay. Computer. Look. Eileen borrowed it from school. She takes a bunch of computer classes. Cool. I'm no geek, but I know how to use one. A computer, that is. Not a geek. Wait, should I write that number down? Hey, Rocket Thunder! Hi! I'm gonna write that number down. What was the number? Do I have it? Notebook? Read notebook? I haven't written anything in it yet. Oh. Can I write something in the notebook? Think about the notebook. Wait, you have a stun gun? Zippo? My trusty Zippo. Running a bit low on fuel. There's a crude inscription, BH, which is a mystery to me. My smoke's about a half a pack. Okay. Should I use stuff? I'm no geek, but I know how to use one. A computer, that is. Not a geek. Mm -hmm. Color printer. Super fancy, apparently. A fact which Eileen loves to remind me of. Five 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 eight two. Oh, I forgot it already. And it's gone. Looks handcrafted. Probably something she made in woodworking class. Well, either her or one of her twelve siblings. Procrastinator. What? Oh no! Please don't break the game. What is this? And I broke it. Yep, I broke it. Please, no! Okay, so this game doesn't like Tab in any way. Really? Come on now. Oh! I fixed it! Aha! <laughs> fixed it! I'm sorry! <laughs> No, I know that I need to use shift tab, but it didn't do it. Looks handcrafted. Okay. Uh... <sighs> Honestly, she can believe in what she wants as long as she doesn't try to shove it down my throat. Oh, right. There we go. I'm gonna write that down. Five, five, five. Eight, three, five, 
have two. There we go. Okay, how about that there? Just in case. You know, he's... Alright. Boom. Yes, take notes. Please do. Okay, so this is a schedule. Eileen's schedule. There's a note for today. Set alarm clock for Kathy. Can't have her miss the funeral. I know written, the number is written down in my context, but I just... Uh... Eileen makes her bed with surgical precision. How do I use stuff? Can I smoke? I don't, I don't really want to, but... Look, combine pack of cigarettes with the lighter. I prefer to smoke outdoors. We meet again, Mr. Bear. Don't give me that look. It's not my fault you ended up so close to my lighter. What? No, 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 no. I don't wanna... What? Combine the Zippo with the pink bear? Why? Thank you, Yoshi! Thank you for the follow! Why would I do that? I'm not gonna... Don't tempt me. <gasps> oh! Oh, sneaky! Oh! Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky! Ah, oh, thank you, Yoshi! <laughs> thank you so much! <laughs> um, apparently that was an achievement. Oh my goodness, did it hit an achievement as well? Oh. Eileen's girly suitcase. There's a sticker on it with her full name. Eileen Mildred Summers. Mildred. Mildred. <laughs> hey. Oh my god, I'm gonna get her for that. I wish I could wrap up that fact and save it for Christmas. Oh. Uh, there's a mirror. Makeup check, hair check, horrible mood, and contempt for humanity check. check. <laughs> Eileen's closet, filled to the brink with inherited clothes and Christian joy. Hallelujah. I can certainly see the appeal of blindly rummaging through Eileen's clothes, but seriously, I've got better things to do. Hmm. Okay, I... Do I, do I need to take anything? Do I need... Can I stun gun the bear as well? I mean, let's just do everything then, right? No? What? That action doesn't seem productive to me. Yeah, me neither. I mean, I, I just needed to try. Uh, do I need to, do, do I, do I, do I, uh, I think I kicked everything. At least I hope so. Okay. Leave! Whoa, that's okay. Well, here we are. God, I really need a smoke. Does anyone object? I do. Guess not. Hey! Dead people rule. What? I ain't dead. Don't smoke. It's unhealthy. Don't do it. Oi. Oi. Smoking's bad for you. Fine, do whatever you want. No time for that now. I'm late for the funeral. No reason to go in there. No, but I want to look at it. It says price. No time for that now. I'm late for the funeral. But I want to look at them now that I'm at a. No time for that now. No, I'm but... late for the funeral. No, but I want to. Let me look at them. There's nothing I can't. I can't read. No time for that now. I'm late for the funeral. Fine. I'm a rebel. Hello. We are gathered here today to honor a person of great integrity, a pillar of the community, and a decorated war hero. His name was Joseph Irving Rain. 
We all remember his warm heart, his compassion, and his eagerness to help others. His passing while our loss is surely heaven's gain. Now we entrust our brother Joseph to God's mercy. We commit his body to the ground, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust, in sure and certain hope of the resurrection to eternal life through our Lord Jesus Christ, who will transform our frail bodies so they may be conformed to his glorious body, who died, was buried, and rose again for us. To him be glory forever. Amen. It's okay. It, it was it was very oh, old. Oh, Kathy, you big baby, just talk to her. It was very old. You, you can't really stop that, I guess. I mean. The coffin is lowered, but the grave hasn't been filled up yet. I can see that, Sherlock. Rest in peace, Grandpa. I wish things could have been different. Hi, Grandpa. Hi, Mrs. Rain. Mary Elizabeth Rain, my grandmother on my father's side. Uh, excuse me, Mrs. Rain? Have we met, Anne? You look strangely familiar. It's me. It's Catherine. Catherine who? You don't recognize me? I guess it's been a while. I might be a bit taller than you remember me. Kathy? Bless my soul. Look at you, all grown up. Oh, how I wish Joseph could see you now, finally coming home. Let's hope he can, wherever he is. A comforting thought, dear. Lord, how long has it been? Ten years? Fifteen? Fifteen sounds about right. I was six when Mom took me away. Goodness, we have some catching up to do then. <laughs> I want to know everything. Listen, I'm not quite ready to leave yet, but... Why don't you join me at the house in half an hour? Sure, I'd love to. I passed it on my way here. It shouldn't be too hard to find. Oh, we did? I'll see you soon, then. I'm so glad you found your way back home. I can't wait for us to have a chance to talk. Yay. Same here. See you in a bit. New location. Oh, okay. Well, you better make cookies. Or have cookies, because you really like cookies. Conwell Springs. Looks smaller than I remember it. I never thought I'd return to this place. Me neither. Oh, hi. I'm... What? Thanks. If you wish to find God, the Church of the Holy Trinity is always open to you. No, thank you. Is that so? Here, have a brochure. Oh, my God. It's never too late to turn away from the path of sin. No. No. Thank you. But no. <laughs> oh, I'm going to do this one. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Oh, no, I am a lost cause. You're not familiar with the concept of a lost cause, are you? That's where you're wrong, my child. Anyone with the will to change can be redeemed in God's eyes. Yeah. Sure thing, buddy. You've convinced me. I'll put find redemption on my bucket list. I'll pray for you. I wish you comfort in this time of grief. She's spicy. I don't want to believe it. you leave. Sorry. I, nope, we're not going to do that. Sorry. Sorry. You do whatever you want to do. Does anything happen while we are on, on the bike? Is it, or is it just a lovely scenery and that's it? And I just have to... To uh, check the boxes. Does it, does it loop around? Repent, Dolly. <laughs> I must confess. Hold on. I'm, I want to see if there's anything new. I just I clicked the thing too fast. I want to see if there's anything weird. Confess what? Nothing. What? Join the scene. I got an achievement! <laughs> See, there was something. Okay, but I guess this is just. This is 
just continuing over and over again. There's a house. There's a house. And it appears there. Okay, that's it. Grandma, anybody home? Yoo hoo. There's an achievement for being on the scene for two hours? Whoa, that's a bit much. It's a red horse. Cute red horse. It's some old Swedish thing, I think. Uh, I think it is, actually. This paint looks fresh. Grandma must have had this restored recently. It's raining. There's nothing quite like the soothing sound of rain falling on a window. Well, the music is nice, but it's not good for streaming when you're on the same screen for two hours. A mere single pair of boots on display. Boy, do we live in different worlds. Nice black leather coat, right up my alley. And a wheelchair. An old wheelchair, not too dusty, probably used recently. Huh, never seen this around. Grandpa must have used it towards the end. And here I thought you liked achievements. I do like achievements. I really, really, really do actually. A small table lamp. These should come in handy when I need to make calls. Oh, a phone book. My goodness, remember these things? It's a phone book, Conwell Springs County. I don't have anything to search for yet. Dolly remembers. <laughs> I should be able to use this for looking up phone numbers of people or places in town. You still have one, little dark son? Why? Oh, for purposes, like for spiders. <coughs> That's a good use. <laughs> it's a photo of this very farm from way back. It says June 12, 1910 in the corner. Oh, 1910. A wedding photo from when my grandparents married. They look younger than I am now. Things have sure changed. How old are you? Some kind of winter forest scene. I've always wondered if it's supposed to be Conwell Woods or not. I can't tell you. Dog fighting. Grandpa used to love that stuff. Oh, I, I thought, but it's a plane, but they call that dog fighting too. Upstairs. Let's go to the living room first. He's 21? That's quite young. Oh, hello, dear. Hi. I was just wondering what took you so long. Sorry, I couldn't resist taking that old wheelchair for a spin. Oh, don't give me that look. I put it back. Wait, what? You haven't changed one bit. Always kidding around, just like when you were little. Come have a seat. We have so much to talk about. Now I want to go in the wheelchair. Just to ride right around a bit. Can we, can we, can we? So, now, tell me about your life in the city. Oh, there's not much to tell. I'm going to school for journalism. It's my second year. I ride a motorcycle in case you missed it there out front. Ah, oh, that's right. Just like your father. Yeah, I suppose. I must ask, have you heard anything from your father? Anything at all? No, nothing since he bailed way back then. Yeah, boy. I expected as much. He disappeared without a trace. No matter, that's ancient history. How Sharon then? Whoa! Tell the truth, you had her committed to a mental to a mental institution, or avoid the subject. No reason to bring it up now. Oh, I'm gonna bring it up. <laughs> oh, we're bringing this up. Hey, Stone Mouth, we're doing this, chat. Mom is. I had her committed to a place where she could get some real help. I just oh, you did couldn't that? take it anymore. Oh, I'm sorry bad. to hear that. Oh my goodness. Help. In spite of everything that happened when she took you away. Uh, yeah, about that. I'm sorry, I didn't visit sooner, Grandma. Oops. Mom, she told me all these horrible lies about you and Grandpa. When I was old enough to understand what she was doing, I felt like it was much too late. It wasn't your fault, dear. You were a child. I'm just happy that you're here now. Me too. So, what about you? 
How have you been doing all these years? I've been lonely ever since the accident. There's no denying that. What accident? Goodness gracious. What? Of course you don't know. She took you away before it all happened. What's happening? Don't know what? I will never forget that dreadful day. August 16th, 1981. It was the middle of the night when Sheriff Truman knocked on our door. He had Joseph with him. Who? I couldn't even recognize Joseph at first. All dirty and wet with an awful blank stare on his face, like his soul had been ripped from his body. Since that day, he never spoke a word. Forever confined to that blasted wheelchair. Really? Grandpa. For all this time? Grandpa. I had no idea. It came as a shock to all of us. That's horrible, Grandma. I'm so sorry. Thank you, dear. Uh, what? Why do you think Grandpa suddenly left that night in 81? I haven't the faintest idea. He acted very peculiar not long before it happened, disappearing for hours at a time. At first, I even suspected he was having an affair. <gasps> when I asked him about it, he just said he was chasing old demons. Must have had something to do with the war. Hold on. Don't assume. Wait, wait, they were married. Just tell each other things. Come on. Uh, police or stress disorder? Uh, it could be. If he was in a war, it could be. Maybe it was post-traumatic stress disorder? Grandpa always had a hard time showing weakness. I don't know, dear. I I'm just speculating. I didn't think too much of it at the time. Joseph was a man of few words. I'm sure he just didn't wish to burden me with it, whatever it was. But... But... What did the doctors have to say about Grandpa's condition? Persistent vegetative state. That's what they call it. I've heard it all by now. One doctor said it was a stroke. Another claimed it was a seizure. The third hack tried to sell it off as a severe infection. It's all a load of tripe. I had an MRI performed on Joseph. It's one of those state-of-the-art head scans. Yeah, I've heard of them. Yes, well, according to the scan, his brain was completely intact. They thought it was a technical problem at the time, some kind of glitch. But the result was the same after three different scans on three different machines. 